Hey everyone, Scotty Collier, West Ham Fan TV. Welcome to the big match preview. Today I am previewing our trip up to Huddersfield. Tricky game. You know, Huddersfield been very, very poor, but they've finally got their first win of the season in a 1-0 victory over Fulham on Monday night. Um, it was the first time they've scored at home since April of last year, I do believe. In the league, I believe that is, you know. So that's a little worrying for them, but the pressure's now lifted. Um... You know, getting that first win, as I said, takes a lot of pressure off the players to go out there and perform. So we need to be very, very careful in this one. I'm very confident going into this, the way we dispatched Burnley. Very disappointed to concede the two goals the way we did. But we ploughed on and we got the victory we fully deserved. And I just think the attacking football we're playing now, bearing in mind we did the double over Huddersfield last season and our football wasn't that great. You know, winning 4-1 up there that, that, that day... The link-up playing between Anatovic and Lanzini was phenomenal. But we're playing like that now. So you have got to be a bit worried going into this one as a Huddersfield fan. But as I said, we cannot count our chickens for the edge. We approach the Brighton game with the wrong attitude and come unstuck. So our attitude has got to be pinpoint in this fixture. Um, as I said, we did do the double over um, Huddersfield last season. We're looking to get back-to-back -back league wins for the first time this season. And we haven't won away since we beat Everton. So that, again, is a little bit of a worry. You know, so we, as I said, we have to take this one seriously. Injury-wise, we've got no new injury concerns that I am aware of. Um, Mark Noble is still suspended. He serves his last match of a three-game ban. So he will return for the Newcastle fixture or Man City, whatever one's next. I can't quite remember because we've got the international break coming up. Uh, Huddersfield will be out. Williams and Drum for this one. I fully expect both teams to be unchanged. As I said, Huddersfield getting that first win. They'll be a bit more confident, be a bit more together. So they'll give me uh, yeah, a little tricky opposition. But I just think if we play the way we did attacking-wise against Burnley, tighten things up at the back. As I said, Huddersfield have only scored, um, haven't scored two goals in a game in the league so far this season. So we have to take that. So as long as we're strong at the back, we should be fine in this fixture. You know, let's just hope, as I said, we don't go in this game overconfident and slip up the way we did against Brighton. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll be up with Ryan filming fan cams after the game finishes. So as you come out of the stadium, keep an eye out for us. Come and give everything your view West Ham related. Uh, Post-match pint will be done, I do believe, by Graham, Nicky and Dan. As Nicky's now back from the States. So um, make sure you check out that. will be an interesting watch. I'm sure Nicky will have a lot to say, bearing in mind he's been away for a couple of weeks. Um, I'll be back with... Well, no, I won't be that back next week as we've got an international break. So I'll be back the week after. Make sure you check out all our other con content on the social, Dan's West Ham Week. Uh, Nicky will probably do musings as well now he's back. So make sure you check out M1s. Thank you very much for watching. Come on, you irons.